Okay, everybody. <laughs> this is the one I was talking about in the last movie review. Um, also on Netflix, I re like I mentioned in the first video, we, had, we got Apple TV here. Uh, so, you know, we got Netflix. You know, absolutely love Netflix. I mean, granted, it's a product plug for that, you know. But we do. We enjoy it. Um, it actually allows me to watch movies and TV shows that, you know, I would like to watch. And I'm just, you know, like, you can't get it and find it any other way except for maybe Hulu, which I've heard things about that I won't talk about here. But, uh, you know, like, I actually, like I said, I've watched Cleopatra. Um, I've watched several other movies on, on there uh, this, besides Cleopatra. Uh, one that I'm going to talk about here is uh, Sunset Boulevard. I've wanted to see that one, too. It's like one of those, um, and in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm adjusting my shirt because I've lost some weight. <laughs> uh, in case you haven't noticed, I have lost some weight, and it's like my clothes are riding around on me, sorry. Um, but that aside, uh, I was watching Sunset Boulevard just because Curiosity was killing the cat on that one, too. Um, that was another one of those movies I watched to say I watched it. That one, I actually did kind of fast forward a little bit on that one, too. Um, just because it, it, like, it, parts of it dragged. And I'm like, I'm like, I've got a saying, the old gray mule ain't what she used to be. And it would have held up just fine throughout that part of the movie. What it is, is it's about this like, aging or aged or older silent movie star named Norma Desmond and how she ends up letting this, like, down-and-out script writer live with her because she wrote a thing, a, mo a script called Salome about the girl that danced the Dance of the Seven Veils and ended up sleeping with her uncle from the Bible. You know, and the guy was like, the thing is that P.O.S. You know, and it actually had, you know, Cecil B. DeMille, the dude that did, you know, the Ten Commandments, the one with, you know, Charlton Heston in it. And it was so funny. I actually watched part of this movie with Tony, and he's like, who is that? I said, Tony, you don't mean to tell me you don't recognize Cecil B. DeMille. I'm like, that's the dude that directed the Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston in it. And he's like, that is? I said, yeah. I said, that's that's, you know, him. Only this is in black and white, and Cleopatra was in color. I, I didn't mention that in the last video, but that's all of it now. But yeah, if you can sit through watching Sunset Boulevard in black and white, you know, it's fine. Um, the movie starts off at the end, basically, where it's a dead body floating in a swimming pool. I mean, granted, that's kind of ruining the ending, saying it starts, you know, but it's like it goes back. Well, <clears throat> um, I'm not going to tell you how the body ended up in the pool. You know, if you want to know how that happened, you have to watch the movie. Uh, but it's like the, the story is told from the point of view of the dead body. And he's the script writer. Uh, and he actually, one thing I liked about him was he finally... At one point, and I forget where it is in the movie, he just finally, you know, it's like towards the end, he just was like, this woman, or, well, he realized pretty early on when he ended up at this woman's house that she was cuckoo, you know, because she was laboring under the delusion that she was still this hot 20-something-year-old lady, and she was, like, well into her 50s, um, you know, and I'm like, yeah, when I say aged, I mean, like, aged, like, as in Hollywood years, I mean, I, I know I'm not exactly driving Miss Daisy material, but I'm not exactly, you know, babe material now either. But I don't care. That's irrelevant. I'm not going to go to Hollywood and act tomorrow, but that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, I mean, the movie was actually decent, but there was parts of it I'm like thinking, oh my god. You know, I'm like, you know, the thing that really burnt me up about this movie was... The guy started falling in love with a younger girl. I mean, when I say younger girl, I'm talking in relation to Norma Desmond. It's like the girl at Paramount was, you know, and it actually showed the actual Paramount lot and the, you know, the 
gateway to the Paramount lot. Well, you know, the guy started falling in love with a girl closer to his own age, which was probably 20-something. Uh, and Norma started, you know, she was already deluded to begin with, and she thought she was the cat's pajamas. She just, you know, it, it started sliding like a snowball bound for hell into insanity, and it just got worse, you know. Um, what I would have really liked to have seen was for the guy to just slap her in the next week and say, you know, you are so deluded. You know, I mean, of course, this is my 21st century mind talking. I mean, if I'd been the guy, I'd been like, look here, sweetheart. You know, granted, you might be a sugar mama, my sugar mama and everything. But, um, you know, really, there's just certain things that aren't going to be. Like, at one point, they kept calling her because they wanted to borrow her car to shoot, like, part of a movie with. And Cecil B. Mill told the guy that had been he'd been talking to that wanted to borrow the car, he's like, tell, or, you know, he told his helper, tell so-and-so, I'll buy him ten cars of, you know, some exotic kind. If the guy wants them, but he's not getting her car. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you go. I was like, yeah. Uh, the movie, um, I kind of have mixed feelings about the movie, but I mean, it's, I mean, it has its moments where it's like it just drags, but I mean, for the most part, it's semi interesting. But it's like, when you first start watching, you're like, why am I watching the end? Why does this have anything to do with the rest of the movie? And then if you start watching it, it makes more sense. Um, but, at any rate, um, that's what I got to say here about Sunset Boulevard. I'm going to pause because I think I have another one up my sleeve to talk about. But we'll see. And I'll be right back. Okay? Hang on.